This video is sponsored by Santa Cruz Software. Hi, I'm Bert Monroy, and my quick tip is about layer styles and how to use them to solve certain problems, not just of what they are, but what you can do with them. So I'm going to go here and uh, share my screen. And uh, right here in Photoshop, we see this little bottle. It's in its own layer. So what I want to do is give it a little drama and give it a little shadow because we've got a nice light coming in here. You can see along the edges here. So we need a little drop shadow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and double click on it to bring up the layer styles. And I'm going to give it a little inner shadow, a little inner shadow. So I'm going to change the direction to come from, say, this area here. Give me this nice dark edge right in there. That, that looks pretty good. Let's bring the size down just a little bit. And uh, I'm going to give it a drop shadow as well. There's my drop shadow. And that looks pretty good. Might uh, bring the size down just a little, make it a little sharper. And click OK. Now, there it is. But it doesn't look like what I want. I want this little bottle to be sitting on the table with that nice little shadow along the edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and go to Layer, Layer Style, and say Create Layers. Create Layers takes the layers that make up or the elements that make up the different parts of the layer styles and puts them in their own layer. Some aspects, this is just a little disclaimer because sometimes with the certain modes and stuff, there might be a little conflict. In this case, there won't be any. So let's just say, okay. Now, there it is. There's the shadow, the dark thing, and there's the drop shadow. So let's turn off the drop shadow for now. What I'm gonna do with the shadow itself I'm going to go in there and take my eraser tool and just erase this top portion. We don't want it to be affecting this little area right here. And let's go right down to right there. And there, that's that. So we get this nice dark area around there. That's just what I wanted. And then here's the drop shadow, which I'm simply going to go in there and say Command T to bring me up into my transform uh, controls right here. Command T. And I'm going to move this guy up and over a little bit like that. Bring this up to follow the bottle right there. And maybe move it in just a little more like that, out there like that. Make that happen. And we'll lighten it up just a little bit, just to make that shadow not so strong. And there you can see, got this nice little effect, a stylized uh, uh, shadow and a drop shadow that is the shape of the bottle. I, have, I didn't have to go in there and create a whole new shape for the shadow. I use the exact shape of the bottle itself to create the shadow with a layer style. And then putting the, the shadow into its own layer, I was able to manipulate it into position so it looks like this thing is sitting on top of a table.